My name is Palmer Lucky. I'm the founder of Oculus and the designer of the Rift. So Palmer, what were your goals heading into this project? Uh, my goals heading into this project were to create a virtual reality device, honestly, for myself. Uh, but later it signed and morphed into something where I realized that this was something that other people would be interested in too and that other people wanted to develop software for. How do you feel this device pushes gaming forward? I think that it pushes gaming forward by actually taking it back to something that people have wanted to do for a long time. Virtual reality is about you know, feeling as if you're inside of the game and that's been a goal really of like all first person shooters is to show the game from the perspective of the, you know, of the character that you're playing. I think virtual reality really completes that by actually making it you feel as if you really are that character. And what role has fan feedback played in developing Oculus? Um, it's played a ton of feed. It's, it's played a huge part. Um, a lot of the feedback on the design that people have given has helped us improve it. People have given us lots of advice on how to improve the SDK, what they want in an SDK, and that's helped shape our software as well. What's one of the biggest challenges when developing Oculus on, on, for you on a personal level? One of the biggest challenges has been um, designing something that is high performance and low cost. I mean, hardware's gone a long way, it's become a lot easier, but at the same time there's features you really wish that you can implement, but it's just not realistic due to their high cost. What are you most excited about Oculus? Probably what I'm most excited about is seeing all of these great titles that game developers have put so much time into. Um, brought into virtual reality. So, you know, franchises that we're already familiar with, we already like, being able to step into them for the first time. And what do you feel, is there any games right now currently that Oculus is compatible with? Yeah, so right, uh, Valve just put out a Team Fortress 2 update that makes it compatible with the Rift. Uh, Hawken is compatible with the Rift. There's several other games in development that are being made that are compatible with the Rift. Um, we work with Unreal Tournament 3, which is part of, it's, it's one of the sample titles for UDK, um, which is the, the um, free version of Unreal Engine 4. We also have Unity integration. A lot of Unity titles are in the works to work with the Rift. Just a lot of different people stepping on board. Now, when would the public be able to get their hands on Oculus? So we're selling developer kits right now for people to start creating content. Those are $300. We're not vetting developers, so um, we're not forcing you to sign NDAs or get on a list or pay us a ton of money. It's just $300 to cover the hardware, and we'll send it to people. The consumer version, we're not sure when it's going to launch, but it'll be somewhere in the same price range. What are you most excited about when this will finally get out to the public? One of the things I'm most excited about for when this finally gets out to the public is for people to see that virtual reality isn't just a research project. It's not just something for... Uh, it's not just something for, you know, crazy enthusiasts. It's something that anyone can appreciate and that everyone will enjoy.